Welcome back to Let's Play the Anapper 2 True. So, we previously made our way to the entrance of the Katoshi Idol's Chroma Spring. And we also got this, um, weapon over here. We got the key items. It's a Shattered Sword. Rusted Katanta. And you can get this here in version, I believe, 1.2.2 and 1.2.3, which is used for an in-game weapon. And we will be getting there eventually. Yeah, we cannot go this way to the Rebel Camp. Oh yeah, about the Rebel Camp, you can uh, return here after this section here. After you do the Chroma Spring. Although the ninja is unfortunately a missable enemy. Since after you get to this part, you they will no longer be hostile. And once you read some Shahori, then you can't leave. But you can get the chest if you did not open it. So let's do the um Chroma Spring. You can see right away. See right away there's a chroma spring and unfortunately I don't think Chelsea can make a long gap to get to the upper side. And I don't know if Celeste can either. We also can't go this way. You can see over there there's a new enemy called Gamoff. It's basically there. So there's a new enemy. We got poison. Okay. Oh yeah, they're the okay. So that's the Gale Moth, the same in So they're the same enemy, except they um. Okay, good. Let's try to use eruption. They okay, are critical. I don't know if I'm gonna... Oh, good. I don't know if I'll be able to. Yeah, it's been this bite. Yeah, Gamma also are just basically the same enemy. Okay, 1,000 EXP. You also drop Dispel Dust. Which, uh, it's very useful for, um, yeah, it's very useful for that Chrono Spring boss. Also drop an antidote. And yes, as you can guess, those enemies do inflict poison. We got level See, Cyclone is not much effective. Let's see, hand of death. Yeah, eighty percent effective. Back, if I use special and inspect. Can't those eight hundred. Tie up Chelsea. Yeah, that's Spring Breeze. That one's using Cyclone. Yeah, I know it's bad, Eileen. Yeah, I mean, he's in 
I mean, yeah, this party... Duh, I mean, yeah, not the party. He's in it. Ah! Really? Oh, freaking blind. Okay, eruption. I guess eruption does do more damage. Grand larceny. Oh, Yeah, pretty much the same as that, except they can use. Deadly dance. King Zara. Gotta kill. At least that helps us get some EXP. Yeah, we're getting a lot of EXP, which tells us we're probably underleveled. And I know, I think mean, Chelsea would be a bit behind because Chelsea probably has not battled a bunch of games, but we got a spell dust on Crystal and Antidote. Level 66. I think we might be able to take the boss on that level 66. why it does that. I think it has to do something because I'm running on SD card, but this is an or 15 g but yeah, like sometimes I see this. I think when I load a game or something, I suppose that's because it might be trying to load this in when it tries to load the cutscene. Like, I don't know. I sometimes I notice a similar thing, like when you change the graphics of a character, like I when someone gets tied up. I know sometimes you'll see a brief like they'll disappear for loads of new graphic. And they're one of these walls. Let's see what this one says. The gale flows beneath my four wings. Yeah, I can't fly. What am I? I Tricky. Um... Let me think. Yeah, this confused me. Windmill. Ah! Oh, I got it. it's a windmill. Yeah. yeah, I think you're right. Mm. I'm getting pretty good at these. So, how do we give it our answer? Do you just hit it with Gale Chroma? Well, that's the obvious answer. No. But the answer is windmill, not Gale. Well. well, unless there's a secret windmill chroma that no one has told me about, I don't see any of our options. Um. What if we use Gale Chroma but make it move in a circle? You know, like a, how windmill does. Plus, I'm saying this to you as a friend. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. Well, do you have a bad idea? Of I think I can do that. Uh, Eileen, wait. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. And I think that's air bullet. I believe she does use that, even if she hasn't learned it. Hmm. Accept your apology in advance. Uh, I don't know why Aiden was upset about here, because that's what you were supposed to do. Ah, so this is the puzzle. Oh yeah, I remember when I first played this game. I kind of got stuck here because I had no clear what to do. So you can see the gimmick in this is... You have these on. So the kind of gimmick is you have these bowls here and you can also pop the ball wool. I have a very good strategy here is to try to go backwards. So you can see we have to hit this obelisk. So we go like this will push it this way. it 
right, and then we should be able to push this ball. Okay, we got wrong. Yeah, unfortunately cannot really um, speed this up. I think we got the um guess that up. Oh, yeah, make sure you're not in the way. What? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Just make sure you're not in the way or else I'll probably she'll pop the ball wool. Then you should be able to... Then the door should pop towards the left. Oh, apparently you can move Chelsea as it pans the camp. And look. Lab. And there's a bed! Our journal, huh? Shoot, I'm not even sure why I'm bothering right here. Maybe the solitude is getting to me. Maybe I just need to feel like I'm getting these thoughts out rather than just letting them all bounce around my head, tormenting me. I think I figured out exactly what went wrong. Not that it matters anyway, but it's good to, good to know, I guess. Writing it down might make me feel better or something. I had to tune the device a minute, freak sure that would prompt the brain to produce aver. That much I got right, but I made two mistakes. One, not only did the vice cause the brain to produce aver, but it also forced the aver to be expelled from the body and, and into the air. Normally this wouldn't be a problem. However, I did discover in a preliminary testing of the chemical that in extremely high volumes they were crystallized. But because the single brain can never produce enough to reach the threshold necessary for this, it wasn't relevant. For me, alone down in my basement, it didn't make a difference, but then there's mistake number two. Oh, while I was performing my testing, I had a 24 hour UN Global News broadcast playing on radio. Mostly just for some background noise, so it didn't feel so lonely down here. But as I understand, a lot of people have that playing these days, especially people in big cities that could be targeted and invent a full scale rural war broke out. It's one of the new transmission radios, and apparently the first day I have a tune into my device, someone got picked up an interview with the broadcast. So my frequency ended, ended up playing on the broadcast, and that forced a lot of aver out into the air in some places. I don't know what's going on now, but I've been too afraid to leave the house, but it's been absolute pain and chaos out there. People are saying that it was some kind of new attack. You and reps are all pointing fingers at one another. It's a mess. I haven't heard from Robert and Nick, but I can only assume they're worse. Robin was in Beijing and Nick was in Javana. Both of our densely populated cities. This is all my fault. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. March something? Question mark. I forgot I had this thing lying around. I don't think it ever really helps me, but since there's no one else for me to talk to nowadays, I might as well write my thoughts down so I can at least feel like someone or something is listening. I haven't been outside much except to scan for food, and the news stations have mostly been shut down. But the last I heard there were reports of a nuke going off somewhere around Turkey. Though who knows, the whole world has gone to shit. I don't think anyone knows that's my fault, but I know. I'm not really sure why I bother trying to keep myself alive. I mostly just do the bare minimum, but what's the point? I'm a coward I guess. Despite everything, I don't want to die, even though I think I deserve to. This one is even weirder than the last one. Is it just me or does it seem like we're missing something? Yeah, I think there are some pages between this one and the last one we found that aren't here. Perhaps I'll find them somewhere else along the way. Yeah, is something wrong? I mean, those pages seem a lot darker than the other ones, you know. They certainly do. There's no use in worrying about it now. Maybe it'll make more sense once you found some more pages. I guess. Okay, we're gonna rest. And I'm gonna add some comments. You see, there's the um, passageway, and there's the switch. So if I go back to 
the items and then look at Bunt's terminal. So, nothing special in June. Now it says UN, which I believe is the United Nations. Of course, the United Nations, I believe, would not be founded until, I think, after World War II. And it does mention Beijing, which is the capital of the People's Republic of China. I think Javana is a city there. I don't know what country that is, though. I'll probably check. See, I'll check. Ivana is a global city. Okay, so it's a land. Oh yeah, so it's a land. Yeah, this one mentions a nuke in Turkey. Yeah, nuclear weapons, of course, were not invented at a time in DA Amber 2. And I believe the... yeah. In fact, the first time the Duke was actually used was an experiment in, I think, New Mexico. Before the United States, of course, launched the nukes in Japan in the cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Which was seen as Japan's surrender that led to the end of War II. But yeah, I'm guessing Dr. Bunt must be doing some sort of time travel. I'm gonna probably go ahead and equip the Staff of Clarity. Yeah, so we'll do the riskiest thing. We got two of them. Yeah, these Gamma Drones are pretty dangerous if you confront them in four. Yeah. Yeah, because especially considering their ability to inflict confusion and their ability that can tie up everyone. I mean, yeah, you can get a total party kill if... Yeah, if they decide to spam... Yeah, if they decide to... Yeah. Just decide to spam their tape attack. Yeah, I'm gonna put back Celeste in there just so we can... Make it easy to destroy the drones. But suing Slash. A sonic wave being able to confuse everyone. That's a pretty dangerous combo. Clear these drones out. Level 67? Okay. Oh, level 67. And we're also gonna get this one. Let's go here to use it. Magma. Air bullet and two magmas. I think should probably kill it. Go on. Try to okay, if that works. I also kill this one. Stand back. I'm just keep magma to help. Down, there we go. Yeah, 
go. Those camera drones. There you go. I think everything's smooth sailing. Yeah, those camera drones over there. Yeah, these are pretty nasty. Yeah, because their ability to like fit confusion and have a party wide and having a party wide attack that can like damage and tie up everyone. Yeah. In fact, my uh, rec previous recording attempt, I lost at them. And yeah, this just does contain the stun backons. Play Celeste with Chelsea. So let's get the Grizzly staff. Yeah, for the artist outfit. Because I do want to give her an outfit. No. The Sun Batten's names itself an ancient weapon, apparently, even though it's technically a new one. Not only for Rod's arc of current, it ignores resistances. And it has a low chance to stun. Not very useful in that boss, because obviously that boss, I think bosses are immune to it. But from the daggers, we do get a bit increase of HP, some slightly lower attack, and a bit, and magic attack. Not a big deal, cause, so, uh, cause Chelsea is not Ion, and most of her attacks are physical anyway. We slightly lose agility and luck. We do get increased defense and max defense. That drone is apparently, apparently a drone stuck over there. Oh. I don't mind have to kill. I don't mind if we have to kill the drones. Like special for there. All right. Okay, this is the Chroma boss. Yeah, I'm gonna probably make a save here because. Yeah, if I get a game over. Yeah, if I get a game over. Yeah, at least so I don't have to, like, yeah, do this. Okay. So I'm going to probably have Chelsea here because of her skill. And she has high agility. I'm also going to probably put Aiden. I think it's going to be probably my healer and I'm going to have Liliana. I don't have Aiden here, because of her hit. Yeah, I wonder if I should probably make one of them a maid, because they do have silence. Uh, that's where Chelsea and, uh, of course, Liliana would help, so... It's my probably a bit of strategy here, too. And this is gonna be a bit of a tricky battle. So we're at level 67. Everyone's at level 67, so let's see if we can do it. Okay, using Chelsea. Okay, Liliana, I believe Liliana has a dancer for Dar because that's gonna be important. And I will have the dance to have her. So at least that, you know, she can also hit very well. Also make sure I have the priestly staff because we're gonna need that regeneration. Considering you know how much CP that we do a bit lose. Alright. Okay, how many spell dust do I have? Seven. 
that looks good enough. And as always, I'm going to go Gassiving Mist. Since we're gonna need all that HP we can get. Hearts of Chrono Spring. Yes. <laughs> so here it is. I see. It's hard to believe there was a spring here all this time and no one knew. I guess that's why the locals don't want the Edrians here. Truly. I don't blame them. If my father had learned of this when he was alive, he would have taken the Isles by force. So do you think once we do this, it might help things calm down between the Rebels and Adrians? Now that they don't have to protect the Chroma Spring? No. Doubtful. I apologize. I fear it may be some good time before the Isles are on good terms with anyone. Okay. Let's just get this done with. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the reason why, you know, of course, those ninjas. It's a hoary. They got, they uh, tied us up because apparently they don't want us to get the Chroma Spring. There's all that whispering again. I think they're saying, hi, Bonnie. Eh, ah, it happened again. So let's watch out. Yeah, she uses a spring breeze. Have to be brave. And this is also where Steel Targets boss. 1k. Keep steady. Yeah, this is the reason why, of course, I have Eileen. Windmill Kick does a lot of physical attacks. This one. Oh, that's Growth Sphere! Yeah! 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 Yeah, again, this boss is probably where I know many players will get stuck here because, yeah, it'd be gross. You can also use it twice. Spring Breeze. I was worried for a second. Yeah, that's gross. Oh my god, confusion. Oh my god, confusion. Yeah. That is confusion. It, this is, yeah, I get no reason why having Liliana is such a good idea. Because, you know, silence. It's nothing. This? Yeah, I mean, yeah, practically if you haven't got Haldora's piece, which again, fully on, which again, I mean, it's not going to have this skill at this point. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like Liliana is not going to have this skill at this point. Not Liliana, I mean, Eileen. Eileen will not likely have the skill at this point, true. Because Haldra's piece has moved to level 80. Yeah, I mean, especially with the bondage system, which, I mean, it really shows it's a pain in. Yeah, like, this boss is such a pain in. I mean, especially if you're playing on the original. Equip the yeah, I gotta get a rationing. Double heal still helps. Get hit guard. Try to make sure I can get Leona's guard up. It's 
Spring Breeze again. I'm just gonna still do a regular attack. I ain't gonna guard. Do a steal. Take that. Got Jill. Oh my god, gross here. Ah! Yeah, and really the their problem is because she is also so fast, I mean she is most likely gonna tie you up. Yeah, when her next turn comes up, because she moves so freaking fast. Get rationing up. Yeah, because she moves so fast. I don't know if it's risky to do a rescue. She is probably going to immediately tie her back up. You know, because she does move so fast. She does waste. She does waste. Rescue. Yeah, probably you should not do it so early. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, that's really a narrow thing that uh, that can show this problem. Like, yeah, because there's no mercy when enemies, yeah, can tie it back off. Oh, we got critical. But it's rather it does get really infuriating to like, you know, rescue someone or struggle out only to get tied back off. I mean, it's, it's a common problem with these bosses. Let's see, how much does do? Well, that do? Ah! At least that helps. And I'm gonna prepare rationing, which is a very good idea to have rationing. No. Oh. Well, may as well just use this. Let's we'll just use this cake. That will stay. Too much spray. Oh god, windmill. Green larceny. Does air bullet really work? Yeah, obviously not much effective. Pray. Yeah. I don't know, she does seem a bit easier at one point. Yeah, one point two point two. Fine no, I was playing one point two point one. Yeah, the boss was so frustrating. Do a sneak attack. Do spear dance. I am gonna keep Liliana. It doesn't seem too hard. Funny if um, Chelsea. Alright. Chelsea finishes off with a critical! <laughs> Did it. I didn't have to reload save. All right. <laughs> it's done. 
Kelsey, are you okay? Yeah. Does everything that happened, I... I see. You must be very overwhelmed. I guess so. Fine. Let's go out then. We still have to figure out a way off the stupid island. Before I do that, I want to go back and talk to Raoldi. Huh? Are, are you sure? If he realizes what we've done, then I plan to tell him what we did. What? You, you really think that's a good idea? I don't know. He's he's my family, and if he's going to find out eventually, if ever they heard it from me. Plus, I think he deserves to know about everything that happened with Shahori. Very well. I understand. I, I hesitate to let it go alone, but if the rest of us are present, I fear it may only make Myers worse. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. I can go by myself. They won't hurt me, or at least I don't think so. If you're positive, that's what you want to do. Plus, what if something should happen and you do not come back? In the case, I guess I want you girls to keep going without me. But I think I'll be okay, honest. Well, for now, let's get out of this cave. The rest we can work out afterwards. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I guess we'll stay here while you go talk to your uncle then. Wait. Are you sure I don't want don't want one of us to come with you? Yeah, I'm sure I'll be okay. How long should we wait before we assume something has gone wrong? I'll try. Uh, I don't know. A couple hours, I guess. I'll try not to take too long. And apparently that's the layout for what the camp is. Of course, the game uses a unique camp layout in truth. Okay. Okay, well, we're already ready then. Yeah, we have a unique camp layout. That's kind of rich coming for me, but be careful. That's don't do anything Celeste would do, and you'll probably be fine. Good luck, Chelsea. Come back soon. Make sure Uncle knows about that shorty one. Sorry, my friends cause all of this. I hope you're really sure your uncle is a damaged cousin of me. Right. Yeah, let's go do the uncle. Rumble camp. Oh, who? Oh, Lady Reha? Wait, where are you supposed to be? Let me inside. I need to speak with my uncle. Er, um, seems like they don't know what to do. I guess I should try to be more affordative. I said now. Oh, yes, of course. You. And no one has seen her since last night? No, sir. When they ever guards said they saw Lady Shora leave the house like last night, but she never returned. I see. Well, good morning. And if you excuse us, I'd like a few minutes to speak with my niece. Yes, sir. Looks like no one realized I left the house last night. Um, um oh. Chelsea, is everything all right? No. I have something I need to tell you. I see. I see. Sorry. You don't seem surprised. Yes. I was too sure if ever a less diplomatic approach to the rebellion. I just never imagined she would go behind my back. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. I'll send some guards to go collect her, assuming she's still where you left her. It seems you were quite busy last night. I'm sorry you had to deal with this on your first night here. I had hoped you'd get some good time to relax in your true home. Right. There was one other thing. Oh. Sorry. Yesterday, you want to know why I came here with Princess Liliana. The truth is, we came to destroy the Chroma Spring. Huh? What? Destroy? Such... Such a thing as possible? Yes. Yeah. Last night, I freed my friends and together we found a spring. You mean... Yes, it's gone. It's a little difficult to explain, but we had our reasons for doing it. We know it might make things messy, but... Huh. What? Uh, something funny? Forgive me. When you said that, I realized I should have been upset, but instead, I felt relieved. The Chrono Spring has been the source of great strife for the Isles ever since it was discovered. We labored to keep it a secret from the rest of the world. Because we knew that the second Adrians found out about it, they'd, re they'd redouble their efforts to end the Axos. The truth is, there has been many a time when I wish the Corner Spring didn't exist at all. To think it was possible for that wish to come true. So you're not mad? No. On the contrary. 
Chelsea, it was really brave of you to come and tell me this. Well, I see. In fact, I even say your mother would have done the same. I'm very proud of you. Regardless, it seems that I have a lot of work to do after last night. I'd like to ask you to stay, but I imagine that you and your friends will be moving on. Um, yeah. I'm sorry to leave you with such a mess. No need to apologize. But before I go, I'd like to give you something. You obtained Jenin. What? This is your mother's blade, Jenin. She would want you to have it, I think. I can't take this. Of course you can. The blade's your birthright. No, no, it should stay with you. I didn't know Hana. I don't deserve to carry this. Understand. I disagree. Your courage today proves that you're more than deserving of it. For the last 20 years, Jenin has sat mountain upon the wall, gathering dust. Every time I walk past it, I feel it is yearning to be wooed again. Chelsea, regards to the identity you grew up with, you are still Hana's daughter and my niece. Even if you feel nothing for us, I ask that you at least take this place as a token of your homeland. Okay. If if you really insist, I'll carry it with honor. Thank you. I know you will. Well, if you ever should wish to visit, please know that you're always welcome in the ISIL, Chelsea. Once you and your friends have finished your business, please let Punch the Leon know that I would be happy to meet you with her to discuss a tree for of some kind. <laughs> I think she'll be happy to hear that. I'll arrange for a boat to wait for you at the beach where you first arrived. It'll take you wherever you need to go. Thank you. I think it'll be for everything. Of course. Of course, we are family after all. Yes. Yeah. And I don't think we'll be able to examine Jainan because. Well, well, well. Yeah, due to the cutscenes. Yeah, very sadly. Yeah, because it's very sadly you can't, like, examine the description of it because, yeah, this. It, it kind of reminds me about that sort of issue I see with, like, Pokemon there where you have to, like, sit for a amount of cutscenes there just to like examine that pokemon you just caught like regarding the legendary pokemon i believe this was kind of fixed a bit i think in like sun and moon where you can see the pokemon right after you catch it sounds like it went better than we he could have expected really? i'm glad yeah yeah without angry everyone's been gas for this it's nice that once this isn't the case. Still, not everyone might agree with her uncle, so we should probably get out of here and let him deal with whatever comes next. Yes. Yeah. Um, um, what? What's wrong, Eileen? Oh, I was just wondering. Should we be calling Chelsea Reha now? Alright, I almost forgot. It turns out that's your real name, huh? Mm -hmm. um, if you girls don't mind, I like to stick with Chelsea. Whoever Reha is, I'm not her. At least, not yet. And I don't know if I ever will be. Very well. well, if one day you decided you do feel like more like Riha, you have you have only a toss. Okay. Maybe someday. But for now, I'm Chelsea and I'm pretty happy being Chelsea, I think. Oh. What is it, Kai? Oh. Nothing. I think that Chelsea has grown a bit since we met. You think so? Indeed. Indeed. You should be proud. A comment from Kai, that's super rare. It's not that rare. <laughs> Because Kai never, you know. Thanks, Kai. That means a lot. Uncle Raiba said a bull will be waiting for us as bot where we first arrived, so whenever we're ready, we should head over there. Okay. Right, on the next one then. Okay. The travel menu. So now we can finally return. And I don't think we could return back to the, the camp. Alright, so I believe next time we're going to, yep, go to the CRC, which I believe if we look at our quest, the game probably wants us to go to the Chroma, to the Chroma Research Center. So, next. Okay. So, next time we'll go to the Chroma Research Center. Okay, well, I was originally going to end the video at the camp, but apparently I have to do this cutscene with the CRC so we can get to the rebel camp. So instead of making another short video, I'm going to include this cutscene. So, what's our next stop? Well, the only ones we have left are Miria and the CRC. The CRC is closest from here. 
Maybe we should go there next. But Getting close to the CRC Corona string might be considerably more difficult, given how it's always in her close observation. Yeah. That's true. Don't worry. Let me handle it. What? You believe you can convince them? Yeah, yeah I'm sure there'll be some naysayers, but most of the higher ups at the CRC are pretty reasonable. But say it's a pretty big deal over there, isn't she? I bet she holds a lot of sway. Of course. Okay, I won't say I'm a big deal, but certainly. No need to be modest. The research reports from the CRC in the past few months have always been always make several mentions of your name. I think you've been quite valuable in the short time you worked there. Well, I haven't done much really. I think she's really pleased to hear that. Anyway, I think it would be best if you let me talk to him about it first. If we play our cards right, we might be able to get this done with this one quickly. That'd be nice. Yes. All same. We should be prepared for Eddie Faye. Yeah. Yeah. Um. They've been in there for a while. Do you think everyone's okay? Well, it's not the easiest thing to understand. Indeed. I'm sure Ann has things well in hand. Of course. Yeah, and Lily too. They can't say no to her. I wouldn't be so certain of that. Hey. Oh, get it come now. Well, well here it go. Fine. Not as well as I could. I there was some disagreement, but we got everything sorted out. Yeah. Phew. <sighs> they, they did ask that we give them a little bit of time so they can wrap up their current experiments with the spring. Mm. That seems reasonable. Well, well, well. So I so guess we have some time to kill then. Yeah, sorry. Don't worry so much. That's okay. It's nice that it's nice to not have to fight with anyone about it this time around. <laughs> yeah, we can finally relax for a bit. <sighs> but you girls can. I have to go help all. At least I can do, after all. Uh, well that makes sense. Is there anything we can do? Don't worry, no, don't worry about it. You girls can just, I don't know, take a nap somewhere or something. I'll handle it. If you say so. Huh. Aiden always seems so serious when she's here. Truly. Her voice holds a lot of weight, honestly. I think they were more willing to listen to her than me during that meeting. Yes. Well, she is super smart. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, I don't know about your girls, but I think I'm going to see if there's anything else I can help out with around here. <laughs> you really can't just sit still, can you? Well, I feel it's wrong at a time like this. Well. If you must, I'm feeling exhausted. I think I'll just wait for A and B finished. Oh. Yeah, me too. Fine. I'll go with Celeste. Ah. I want help out too. No. Not particularly. I just want to make sure you don't get in trouble. Uh, yeah. Yes. Probably a good idea. Um, okay. I think if we act. Yeah, we'll have a party. Right. So now we can go to the CRC. Okay, not the CRC. We can go back to the rebel camp. And I think there are some... There's like two things we have to do. I believe there are two side quests here. One that's added in 1.2.2. That's an Elvaron, uh, an outfit for Zara. And there are one that can also get an outfit for Telsey. There's also, I believe, an air task we have to do. Which involves us finding spies. So, join us next time, and let's play the Amper 2. Where instead of doing the main story, we're going to do some more side quests, and then we're going to go back to the CRC. Yeah. 